Hello ladies and gentlemen, I know it's been a long while, need to actually talk about a little thing that has actually just resurfaced, I think within two months. So amazingly enough, Seven Webheads has returned, but he did a name change. Now he is Fandom Wire. Well, what I think about this. So apparently the last video he has done was within three years. And then after that, he disappeared. And then all of a sudden, he comes back. Which, it's pretty funny if you think about this. He disappeared when Spider-Man is now in the MCU. And he returns when Spider-Man is not in the MCU anymore. That is, that's very, very unbelievably convenient. Well, convenient. It's more like a messed up coincidence. As for him, name change, I know he has a video. I should watch it, but personally, I'd rather actually get it out here instead of being like, oh, okay, I see what you're doing. But let's just look at it without looking at that video. He disappeared for three years. People were trying to talk to him. People were trying to make sure that he's okay. And all he did is just looked at the, he looked at the comment or looked at the response that was sent to him. And that's all. He just looked at it and that was the end of it. When it comes to people, period. When it comes to people who wants to return. Well, first things first is you needed to have a farewell video. You need to have a video to actually explain yourself. And I bet chances are he explained that during his, oh, I changed my name. But more than anything, you needed to actually tell people before you leave. That's what I truly believe in, is that if I really actually leave here, I will make sure you guys know that there's something going on that I can't actually continue on doing this. So I'll leave you this video to actually explain everything, or at least say I will be disappearing for a while. Just like the whole, you know, that video of Dark Spy will return. At least I would actually say something or show something to actually say, yeah, I'll be back. It's like right now I'm just going to do a little hiatus, but I'll be back. As for changing it, it's, when it comes to you returning and then all of a sudden now it's okay. It's like, it's not really okay, man. You have to really explain yourself. And I think that was his first video was explaining himself. But more, think, more important, it's just a fact of you really need to truly explain yourself. You were actually one of the biggest Spider-Man YouTube channels. And then you just disappeared on us like that. And you want to actually have everyone who is a subscriber to you, which, of course, yes, they like you still. But I'm just saying the content you gave previously was all Spider-Man. Now you're going to do content that is more than Spider-Man. I would say if you really want to actually truly pat yourself on the back and make sure that you know and everything else is you should have just started a brand new channel. You should have started a brand new channel and you should have actually allowed seven web heads to still be that channel. Still allow seven web heads to still be seven web heads. Just insert one video to say that, hey, I've moved to this channel. So at least the good news is that you building yourself up is not just going to be the part of where you already build up this channel and here you go living off the fruits of it. But yet this is on newer content, content that actually is now variety versus Spider-Man all the time. Like for me personally, it's like if I decide to actually just say, hey, my name is not Dark Spy anymore. Now it's Rainbow Spy or Rain Rainbow Spider where I'm like, yeah, I'm going to do everything like it previously. But this time I'm actually mean it. I'm going to do Sailor Moon reviews. I'm going to do Power Interest reviews. I'm going to do Spider-Man reviews. Eventually, I finally got to the point of where it's like, I know the topic I should have been focused on this whole entire time, which is Spider-Man. Spider-Man 3 is a sabotage film and continue to find evidence all the way to the point of being like, see, Sony is a messed up person. They're messed up. They shouldn't have Spider-Man in the first place. And they wanted to inflate their egos. And now... They're back at it to where it's like now they're going to try to inflate their egos again. It's like, yes, 
I get it. Venom actually was a hit. And that was one horrible, horrible success that they did. And it's like, oh my gosh, no. But at least the good news is that for Avi Arid, he said Spider-Man is only Peter Parker and Peter Parker alone. And then we get into the Spider-Verse, which I think either A, he changed his mind, or B, he regrets this. This is messed up, even though it gives him money. But he still is like, Peter Parker's the only Spider-Man. Or just the fact of Venom was something he wanted to always have. And since he got it, he doesn't care what happens next. Because he wanted Venom in a movie. He's been wanting that ever since 2007. I bet he even wanted it ever since 2006, before Spider-Man 3 was even truly actually written but he had to wreck spider-man 3 he had to wreck spider-man 3 just to actually do two things one have venom in the big screen and two to wreck sam raimi along with everyone else it's like yeah not a lot of people are actually you're like oh t- sam raimi doing spider-man films oh yeah um spider-man 3 is horrible and then the freaking rumors of spider-man 4 being horrible you can see for yourself it's like someone had to have gave all those rumors out and the rumors of course had to involve sony because sony is the one right here who really wanted to reboot spider-man and inflate their egos and have 100 percent be them just like right now where it's like well here we go again but this time they didn't actually do anything messed up. They just were able to actually just say, okay, the contract is over. And then it's like, now we can inflate our egos. And yes, I understand. And I already have a video. Hopefully it's already up. That was talking about what's Disney and Sony and what we were talking about. And then new details of, oh, well, Sony was actually going to give them 30%. And it's like, yeah, but technically Disney still still better. 50% and they pay half of the production cost. Are you telling me that's not an actually better deal? Sony wanted to just be like, oh, 30, but we're going to still pay all production costs and everything. It's like, yeah, but they're giving you half. They're, they just want half and they're actually going to pay half the production costs, which means you can actually take that other half of that money that you could have been using for movies for spider-man 3 or whatever and you could put that into another movie and actually have a bigger investment because now the other movie can actually grow back the production cost of what you did for spider-man for the spider-man movie but yet they don't think like that apparently they still wanted to actually just say no 30 and we do the production cost it seems to me that that's pretty stupid in my opinion and also just the fact of again if we look at it in inflating their egos yeah, they did 100% production cost. That's kind of still inflating their egos because they'll be like, yeah, we actually foot the bill for the whole entire production cost. What do you think of that? It's like this whole entire time, they also have that inflating their egos. Where it's like, yeah, we did something in Spider-Man Homecoming. Isn't that cool? And it's like, oh my gosh, that was a horrible thing that you just did. And it's like, well, we still had the production costs. We did all the production costs on those two movies. So, yay us. And it's like, really? Is this what we're talking about here? Is that now you're finding another way to be able to inflate your egos besides actually being involved with the movie? And we already saw what happened when you got involvement in the first movie. And not to mention just the messed up part of where it's like, did you watch Civil War? If you watch Civil War, whoever wrote this part that was part of Sony is you're an idiot. Because whoever wrote that, it's like, it works, but Spider-Man cussed. And there's like at least three moments of where it's like, why is it different angles? It doesn't really actually help at all. Really flow, make it actually seem like it truly actually was filmed in Civil War. Instead, it's more like, yeah, uh, I don't know. I'm just saying that when it comes to Sony, saying that they know how to do Spider-Man's they just know how to tell stories and stuff with Spider-Man. They really don't. It's like, they really don't. Five years does not actually help you become better. Not to mention, with Venom, they actually needed Kevin Feige's help, too. He actually helped assist. And it's like, not to mention the fact of where they're like, oh, 30% and Venom gets a partner of the MCU. And it's like, 
my gosh. My gosh. What? Oh, just, just what? But anyways, back to what I was talking about. It's just the fact of... It would have been better if he just made a brand new channel. And grow from that channel. Because, come on. If lightning struck and his seven webheads channel went from overnight just very very popular i'm pretty sure that he can do it again with a new channel i'm pretty sure overnight he would have skyrocketed again instead of being like i'm gonna play it safe and change my channel and i don't like that for so many other people who did that it's like just make a new channel okay and then it looks like you're still making the same content. You can still actually easily just put the content of the newer stuff, even though it'll be under a new name. At least it'll still be you. It's still you, no matter what name you chose. So you could easily just put all the Spider-Man content on Seven Webheads channel, even though it will still say Fandomware. But even so, it's like at least you're actually still catering to the big group that's in seven webheads instead of being like well there might be some who actually just left some might actually do it but they're all happy that you returned but it's messed up that it's like really man it really is messed up it's like i don't really know what to really say i'm glad he's back but personally it's like if you really truly want to actually do the opposite of what Sony does, but better, which is not inflate your ego, but just shows that, dude, you can still continue on. You can actually grow from zero to, I don't know, 100,000, lots of subscribers, because there's so many people who actually just clung on to being like, I am seven web heads reborn, or there's like so many seven web heads youtube channels that just showed up after you left and it's like they got subscribers just by doing that so i'm pretty sure with you being in the same person you could have easily just have made a brand new channel grow from there and people be like oh my gosh there's seven web hits he's back on and they'll just instantly subscribe to you i mean don't you really want to have that instead of i mean i understand that you want people to find you and stuff like that but Personally, I would prefer, unlike what I've been previously with, you know, when it comes to like some superheroes where they go from one costume to another, one costume was very iconic and here they are throwing it in a fire saying this brand new costume is awesome. It's like you would figure Daredevil would have at least actually have the yellow, the original yellow costume hanging up somewhere being like, those were the days. Instead, you, here you are just changing it and... It's like, really, man? Did you really have to change it? But I'm pretty sure his content is actually very good. And they, he, of course, he changed the thing. I really need to see that video just to understand what happened to him. But anyways, I'm webbing out. Tell me what you guys think about this. Peace.